<laughs> uh, Jimmy and Irene tuning in. Uh, we've come up to what's the place? El Choro. El Choro. Yeah, that's it. And hey guys, how you doing? Here's another vlog. Uh, this one dates back a year's time now. Me and Irene headed over to Andalusia in Spain for a little bit of a paragliding getaway. It was raining, snowing, and a bit of average weather in Austria at the time, so we needed to escape that and get some sunshine. The plan was basically take the paragliders and a tent and go backpack traveling through Andalusia, a great place at that time, and people said the weather was going to be phenomenal. Uh, usually a very consistent place to go flying. First stop was El Choro, uh, and then after that we headed over to this place, Teba, a beautiful place with a beautiful castle on top of a hill. The only problem was the weather really wasn't on our side at this point, and we had to be patient for it. We got one flight here, though, and it worked out pretty well. This is the takeoff. <laughs> Where we're standing, I think, is the takeoff. Just bombed out <laughs> underneath the Spanish sun. Landed there. <sighs> we flew this earlier on this morning, and it was epic. Uh, from up there, it's not too far of a walk. It's like 10 minutes to get to the top, but yeah, it had a nice thermal early in the morning. Well, I say early, but it was about 10, I think, when we got flying. And yeah, took me up to cloud base almost, which is not that high, surprisingly. Just another 300 meters off the top of the hill there. But yeah, was able to fly over the castle. As you'd expect, paragliding is all about weather. The winds blew us out of Tabor pretty quickly and we headed over to Algodonales. A nice guy gave us a lift. He didn't speak much uh, English, but Irene speaks fluent Spanish, so that was nice and easy. He was coming back from a punk rock concert, which was pretty funny, and he was playing uh, good beats all, all the way along. So yeah, we headed up there and stopped off in Algodonales. Gotta make everyone back at home jealous, you know. <laughs> uh, ah. Okay, so we've arrived in San Luca de Barrameda, down on the south coast of Spain, um, on the Atlantic side now. We're at the Atlantic because Algonales didn't work. The day we were driving there was pretty phenomenal. We rocked up into town and there were about 100 paragliders up on the ridge. The wind was coming the wrong way though, so they'd had to take off at the morning takeoff with the, para uh, with the wind coming from... I think it was coming from the southwest instead of the usual. And yeah, we pretty quickly left Algonales because with rain on the forecast, it didn't really look that great. And our plan was to head to Metalliscanius. Oh yeah, here we are. We came from there. Now we have 29 kilometers walking to go apparently because uh, there's nothing over there national, um, park. national park and we're apparently not even allowed to walk in there um, yeah but it's blowing quite a lot actually it's starting to get stronger so that plan of flying along the coast will probably happen in a minute So, next morning. <laughs> so, that didn't quite work out. We weren't allowed to sleep in the National Park or anywhere around there. And we had a 29 kilometer walk to get to Metalliscanius. No, I think it was actually 33 kilometers. Yeah, it was basically long. We had about 20 kilo backpacks each because we decided to bring our beginner paragliding equipment with us. We still hadn't really moved on from that stage. So, maybe this was a bit early in our in our time to be going on a trip, but you know, we had to give it a go. And yeah, as you can tell, we were really tired. It took us about seven hours to walk up the beach and the rangers wouldn't give us a lift. They told us it was our problem and that we needed to 
walk out of the national park before the end of the day. So we did so and made it all the way up to the Mictalis Gunyas and slept there the night. Now, as you can tell, having put so much effort in, we didn't really want to leave straight away. Another paraglider was there and he told us that he was heading down south further to Gibraltar as the winds were a little bit off and weren't really working here for the next couple of days. We basically told him we were not going to leave. We put in so much effort to get here. So we'll just kick it out and see what happens. I don't know. To this day, maybe it would have worked better. But, you know, hindsight's a great thing. And in the moment, we just wanted to be here. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome to dead suburbia. Yeah. We're in a town that's about four kilometers long, maybe even longer. And like another two or three kilometers wide, just a big block. Metalascanias in Spain. It's apparently one of the great coastal soaring places for paragliding. Well, not now. In the yeah. Summer. yeah, not now. Doesn't seem like there's not much wind at the moment, but we're just waiting here. It's quite a like, nice little paradise. But there is no one around. Oh, there's one car coming. But like every house is abandoned. It's totally weird. Yeah. We've got a town to ourselves. Plus this one car coming along. Well, here we are again. Went to try and go to a supermarket and it's closed. I really think you could do anything here, eh? And you can get away with it. There's only a few cars driving around every now and then. I don't know where they're going. Um, they must know something we don't, but uh, this place is empty. Wow. Two paragliders sitting around doing nothing with this amazing cliff line here that we could fly along. Only problem is the wind's not coming from there. It's not going this way. It's coming from there and it's going this way. Uh, it looks like this entire week is gonna be doing the same thing. So we made the massive journey out to Metelliscanius to have wind coming over here instead of going up there. <laughs> 